When you eat a meal, the food and liquid travels through your gastrointestinal tract, breaking it down into the vital nutrients and energy your body needs. The GI tract is a long, muscular tube that has its own nervous system, with five times more nerves than in our spinal cord. These nerves are responsible for peristalsis, the involuntary reflex that propulses the food from one part of the digestive system to the next. The muscular valve at the end of the esophagus, called the lower esophageal sphincter, normally prevents acid from refluxing up from the stomach. This Once a meal enters the stomach, it mixes with gastric acid and other fluids to begin the digestion process. The muscular sac contracts against the pyloric channel at the end of the stomach to churn the food into small particles. The pancreas and bile secretions are critical for digestion. A healthy pancreas produces the body's natural antacid called bicarbonate, as well as the digestive enzymes critical for digesting what we eat. This includes fats, carbohydrates, and protein. The liver makes bile, which helps this digestive process. When the mushy food mixture leaves the stomach and enters the intestines, the bicarbonate neutralizes stomach acid and provides the optimal pH for pancreas enzymes and bile to function. The 20-foot-long small intestine is where 90% of food digestion and nutrient absorption occurs. The small intestine secretes fluid into the intestine to mix with bile and enzymes. It produces a thin, watery mixture to maximize digestion and absorption of nutrients across the cells of the intestinal lining. The bacteria that lives in the small intestine also aids in absorption. The large intestine, or colon, is responsible for processing any waste. 